Nikki Does here with another IBM Selectric explainer and um, hopefully help you fix, troubleshoot fix your Selectric. This is a Selectric 2 correcting and we're going to be talking about the escapement, which is IBM speak for spacing forward and kind of spacing back. So the space bar and character selection, of course, both space forward and correcting will space back and so will backspacing. So if we um, look at how this works and if we're having trouble, so for example, if I can make this work here, sometimes you press the space and nothing happens like that. So if you're wondering why that happens, I'm going to walk you through a few steps to help you figure out what's wrong. So there it is working. I'm holding the correction key down partway now and there it is not working. So the first thing we need to know is that the escapement of the, character, of the carriage is not done by this cord other than this cord keeps tension on it. But the real escaping of it happens back in this area here. Um, some gizmos back here with lots of springs, and that's where uh, the individual space, like a 10-pitch um, space happens. So it's very bright. Um, there we go. So this bar here is not the bar I'm talking about. This bar is not it, but down here below... That one is the one I am talking about. Now this bar is going to tilt, and over here on the right, we'll see this mechanism. Let's zoom in a bit on that. Maybe not that much. Mm, where is it? It's in front of the tab. Oh, it's right back there. So it's gonna be hard to point this out, but this, little shelf right here. When I press down on this shelf, that tilts the whole bar. See that little shelf? And this is all the way on the right side of the machine, kind of by the index, which is the IBM speak for rotating the platen around. Um, right back in that corner is that shelf. There it is. And so if, if you press this down, power on or off, doesn't matter, you can hear the carriage moving every time I press it. And it moves a lot, by the way. So it's, it's supposed to move only, it's supposed to only be dropped for a second. And then this uh, gold piece here, this piece that I'm flipping back and forth, that's the pawl that grabs it and moves it. So the pawl is tied to, let's zoom back out. Uh, So this inhibitor down here, zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. So this inhibitor is so that when you press correct, it doesn't space forward. So right now it's in the inhibit position and that would be in the normal spacing position. So if I drop this down, you can see that paddle. Let's see if we can get that a little better. If I drop this down here, you can see the paddle moves to the front of the machine toward the camera. And if I push this back, you can see the paddle releases again. This will be for normal spacing. So I'm gonna press the space bar. You see that going forward. If I press correct, you'll see the first thing it did was drop that inhibitor. So space, inhibit. Space, correct, inhibit. Space, so now I'm gonna slowly press on the correct. Now let me try that more carefully. So there's me just tapping on the correct key. There it finally goes down. So if this is in that inhibit position and it doesn't go forward. For example, um, if this isn't adjusted properly, this is what happens. You see that thing moving forward, uh, the paddle moving, but it's not actually re-engaging on that shelf, on that shoulder right there. If that's happening, it's not going to engage. Likewise, if you've got an old machine, which we all do, if there's uh, grease and gunk in this area here, this paddle won't move forward fast enough or if this one won't come up fast enough, it may look like it should catch, but it won't. When you move this forward like this, it'll slowly rise forward. This one's already been cleaned, so it moves quickly. So that is the basics of how the escapement works. Uh, hope this helps.